play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom, quick, 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 and what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. Averaging 50 yards a boot so far as this one's away. And now back out comes the offense. They're starting to pull away with this one. Early on that first quarter, they didn't look so great offensively. What has changed? Sometimes it's just a matter of doing what you plan to do better. Sometimes you just put that all together and you execute. Other times, it's just in a simple adjustment in your game plan, finding a spot that maybe was a little weaker than maybe you thought, and going to that. So many different things, so many different ways, but right now, you gotta like what they're doing. They have put distance between themselves and their opponent. Looking to add on here in the second quarter. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. They give him 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. They'll look to throw here on first down, eluding the pressure right. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. So two minutes to go in a wild first half. We're back to East Rutherford, but first this time out. Coming up at the half, a reminder, we go back to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman. He'll have a look back at our first half, as well as a look ahead to what's coming up later this weekend. Flex round! Flex round! Let's go! Grand 38! Grand 38! The play-action fake. They'll look to throw. He's going to air one out. It's caught inside the 25. A big play there. 51 yards. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Stepping up. He's going to keep it. Give him three on the keeper there, and it is second down. Couldn't connect. I'm going to need some help with this one. How did he miss it? Wide open in the end zone. He's not hurried. He's not hit. And somehow, incomplete? Yeah. What happened? Oh, During go. film study, that's one where he's just going to shake his head, not be able to believe it. Six points go by the wayside on that one. And the athleticism on the spin move allows him to pick up the first before he's brought down. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And it's caught. Touchdown. In for the score. And his guys are going to add on to their lead. That's one of those touchdown tosses where if it's an inch to the right or left, it's not a touchdown. He had to put it right on the money. Yeah, and how did he do that? Everything around him, everything swirling, all the coverage downfield. Somehow he spotted the opening and put it right there. Now the try here for the extra point. The extra point up and good. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. So that drive in total eight plays. Go, 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 go
set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This is taken about seven yards deep, and no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And now out come the Giants. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times the punter goes to the sideline, puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now from all the work he's getting. They're throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty right, well, you know. <laughs> He's got to throw it better. Got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. He'll complete this to Ingram, his tight end. Down the numbers, there he goes. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. with his second touchdown of the game. And the Giants able to get this back within a touchdown. Hopkins with the extra point, and that'll cut the lead down to a touchdown. This game back within a touchdown now as the kickoff's away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And all that but he stopped where he ultimately would have been and he's simply taken a knee and that's the 25 yard line. Now here's the signal caller getting ready to lead this offense again. And he's been good. Two first half touchdown passes, no interceptions so far. Does a lot for your confidence. Does a great deal for your team. Gives them a lead and they're feeling really good about how they're weaving through traffic and now he's free. 20. And he will take this one in for a touchdown. A big play there as the first half is winding down. And his guys get the quick strike touchdown. Now he's having a nice little first half here, partner. And it's a first half that leaves us anticipating what can still come. I mean, two touchdowns already here through the second quarter. There could be plenty more before this game is over. Point after here coming up. Extra point splits the uprights, and the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. One of the shortest drives you'll ever see. One play, 75 yards, six points. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This is taken about seven yards deep, and not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee, and they'll bring the football out to the 25. 14 seconds, all that's left to this first half as they come up on first down. Here we go now. 3 19. And on the ground they go with a running back. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. So we have reached halftime in our first preseason matchup of the year. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in just a minute. As we've started the countdown to opening night, three more weeks of preseason action follow this, and then we get it all started less than one month from tonight in our game. Most of the starters have made their cameo and departed, but plenty of youngsters out there with a lot to gain or lose as we get you right back out to Brandon God. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. This is fielded at the goal line. 
And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. So here they come, the road team now getting the football first to start this third quarter. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? They score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, in fact, you can take the spirit away from another team, that their drive... And will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. Yeah, still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? So the drive takes them into Giants territory now. First and 10 at the 47. Taylor, they'll try up the screen. It's complete. Only three there on the screen at second down. So many things have to come together just right for a screen pass to break for big yardage. The blocking, the timing of the pass to the runner, everything has to fit together just right. But on that play, the defense was able to disrupt things and hold it to a short game. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. And they'll try the ground game here with the running back. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. 
So, Brandon, when this offense gathers together to watch tape for this game, they're going to be feeling pretty good about themselves until the coaches get upset about the play we just saw. But you know their defense is going to be. But we put up big points all game long. The defense is going to win one every now and then. Taylor will throw. Flushed out right. He can run for it, and he will. Pretty solid gain of seven yards that time as he scrambled, but now they face a fourth down. quite in field goal range yet. They're going to go for it on four. They run it here. Where? And boy, this is going to be close. That mark looks a little short, and he didn't get there. Spencer wins. They're unable to get to the marker, and the Giants are going to get the football back. And the head coach reaches for the red flag, tosses it down on the field. He wants a challenge here. Well, he challenged the play. It did not pay off. And that means he lost a timeout in that challenge. And as a coach, you hate that. Don't know if you took the advice of the player. You threw it yourself, but it didn't go your way. At the end of the day, it all comes back to the head coach. He has the final determination on whether to actually challenge the player or not. In this case, it didn't pay off for him. And that's got to be so heartbreaking. You throw that flag, you probably feel really confident. And then all of a sudden, boom, you lose the challenge. Yeah, when you take a look at it, you're throwing that flag because you believe you're going to be right. And when it comes back the other way, you have to regroup. Five yards on the carry there, and it leaves him with third and about six yards to go. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Now let's go! They'll look to throw here, and he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. Well, this at least is the right idea. I think they've got to get the tight end more involved. He had just one target in the first half, incomplete. Now incomplete here with the first target of the second half. Yeah, should not stop them at all from going back to him. To find him. Find him. Now this is fielded in the end zone. Nice job bringing that one back. 14 on the return. So out now comes the offense back onto the field. And last time they were very fortunate this offense. They went for it on four, turned it over in their own territory, but the other guys held up. They didn't give up any points. So how about the guy with the number one headset on the sidelines, the head coach? That was planned going into it, not necessarily to not get the first down or to, to have the defense have to hold it. He trusted his defense. Trusted his defense very much, and I think that that's how he's going to play this game. Go for it. Be aggressive because I've got the wild bunch backing me up over here on my own sideline. Now we'll see what his offense can do. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Now they try the right side here. And he'll go down just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Call it a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. That's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. Now Taylor on first down. They're looking for his tight end on the corner. It's complete. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. A nice pickup there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Well, that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent. Well, that's caught at the 25. And he finally goes down, but not before reaching the 21. 
Well, we haven't been shortchanged on offense. Another fun play to watch there on the deep pass. This game has the feel of, what, a, a turkey bowl, a Thanksgiving day. You know, when we get together this year, when the Davises and the Gardens get together, <laughs> that's what our playbook's going to look like, like they're drawing them up in the dirt. And so far, it's working for both of them. And they'll run it here. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. 12 more yards there and another first down. Some big plays in the passing game on this drive, and here's one out of the running game. So the passing game, loosening things up. Now there's room to roam. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And they'll get him down here at about the five-yard line. Give him three on the game there, second and goal. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety? coming up and making the big time play. On second down, here's Taylor. He's gonna flip one out here to his running back. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one yard line. A touchdown saving tackle there. Now it's third and goal. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. Well, that's the... Big drawback to this play. Even if somehow the quarterback pitches it, he's not immune to the big hit. In this case, he kept it and absorbed it anyway. Can this defense hold him out? Here we go now, fourth and goal from the two. They come out here in the eye. On the run, it's Ware. And he'll wind up being knocked back to the three-yard line. Ware stops short on fourth and goal. And this Giants defense able to come up with a goal line stand. So they've gone for it twice now on fourth down in this Let's game go. and both times Three, unsuccessful. I wish we could hear the headsets now between the head coach and the offensive coordinator. Now that they're 0 for 2, if they get into a third situation, head coach might say, hey, you got anything for this one? <laughs> might get radio silence back. <laughs> that first down play, all you want to do is wedge out any type of space and try and create enough room that if you have to run the punter out there, he can successfully complete the punt. Yeah, he didn't get a ton there, but at least some positive yardage. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Illegal block in the back. Offense. So that one will be accepted. attack here and not much there as he gets it up to about the five yard line only a yard on the pickup and now they've got a third down and eight not the start to the drive they were looking for that run doesn't do much at all no not at all that leaves them with third and long and you know this is the time of game where these drives really really start to matter they've got to make some moves it's a gain of just three and the offense likely going to yield to the punting unit here on fourth down as much as I praise teams for being true to who they are, in this situation, I wonder if maybe they outguess themselves a little bit. Third down, seemed like an obvious passing situation. They chose to run it and then get anywhere close to the first down. Now this offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. And last time, they had it fourth and goal, rolled the dice, didn't get it. Now they've got to put that behind and try to put together another drive. Hey, a simple tip of the cap, a nod of the head to the defense. Congratulations, you got us last time. But you didn't hold us the whole time. We got down to position. We were able to be in position to score. Let's go to the top again. Continue to have that kind of confidence. Not worry about the one play that didn't allow them to get into the end zone. And this time they'll be trying to get it into the end zone. We'll see what they do. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards picking up the first. On first and 10, it's Taylor. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Cook hands that time to knock that one away. It sure looked like a short touchdown, but able to get a good break on the football and force the incompletion. Taylor incomplete on first down. Here's second and ten. 
And they'll go on the ground. And he's able to get this one down to about the 40. And give the tackle to Anthony Walker. And that's one of the reasons you like to blitz even on rundowns. It confuses the blocking assignments. It doesn't allow those offensive linemen to get up to the second level. From the gun on third down, it's Taylor. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. But give the defensive guys a little bit of credit. They didn't let the deep ball beat them on that play, did they? No, the, the drag, that guy can be your safety valve. We saw it right there. Yeah, they picked up a first down for him, too. And he'll get about five here as he'll take this down inside the 20-yard line. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. Off the play fake, here's Taylor. Flush to his right. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. It's a nice pickup of 12 yards, and it gives him a first and goal. Sometimes it's designed, and sometimes you just have to know when to leave the pocket and move and make something happen. And on that play, he was able to get on the run and was still accurate throwing the football. Taylor to throw. Buying time to his left. Still plenty of time left in the game, but now starting to pull away a little bit. Get some breathing room with that one. And I don't want people to think that NFL locker rooms are cookie cutter, that everyone's saying the exact same thing in every situation. But I do know that all 32 teams have an emphasis on starting fast, game, you know, the second half, no matter what, whether well, it's first five minutes, first three, whatever, this was a big score to start the second half. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. The Giants offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out, but I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of Personal scrimmage. foul, face mask, defense. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face mask. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they march off another 15 against your squad. And three yards there takes him to the 45. They went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Yeah, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he's a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? They'll set up to throw. And he almost intercepted it. They haven't picked a ball off yet. That probably should have been their first. And it's third down now. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum, big play, right in his hands, unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense that that fell harmlessly to the ground. They're going to look to throw. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping him from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. On 
first down, it's Taylor. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. An ideal beginning of the drive there as they'll get 20 and a first down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. We'll return with more preseason football on EA Sports. Welcome back now here in East Rutherford. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37 yard line. That's gonna go. Is a loss of a yard and it'll be second down. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Play action. It's Taylor. He'll buy some time right. Now he'll let it go deep right side. And they went for a big play through the air on second down. Couldn't connect. Now it's third. Fourth quarter, you've got the big lead. If you're coaching, Charlie, are you still taking shots like that downfield? I'd be a little more concerned with running some clock and making sure you're taking care of the lead because you keep flinging it around, you throw a couple of picks, you can put yourself in jeopardy. Here's Taylor. He's going to float this one deep right side. And that's caught inside the 30. And he finally goes down at the 23-yard line. It's a big play there on third down. 41 yards. Still throwing the football here, even with the big lead. Yeah, I know you and I came up in a different era when we think about sportsmanship and all that. Other people think about fantasy points and getting their numbers. That's all they care about right now. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. On second down, Taylor. His throw incomplete. I think that's a big time play there because the slant route is really hard to cover because the timing is so quick. But able to see it, diagnose it, and get to the football, that's why he was able to bat it away. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. the gun it's Taylor a bullet throw but incomplete before the game they were running the route tree about as efficiently and effectively as we could have possibly imagined but sometimes the passes just go awry oh they get to the football it's blocked well one of the few things that's gone right for them likely a little too late but Maybe a little feather in their cap. I think so, and to me, they've played that play without looking at the scoreboard, without worrying about where they were on the score, because things I haven't gone right, as you Blue noted, for them much of this game. Blue but they gave great effort there and picked up a defense that's had a share of troubles in this one. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. They'll wind up losing four yards on the play, and it'll bring up a second and 14. 
Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Those passes out that far wide always make you hold your breath a little bit. Felt like it was in the air for a while. What it does is it allows a defender to gain some ground, come from a long distance, and have a chance to affect the pass. He's going to wind up and air it out. And got his man complete. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage. being dropped inside the 40. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. All right, here we go. Boom, line it. Back to throw here. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what uh, you said in the beginning. Great. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. Escaping the pressure right. A breakdown defensively there as the scramble is going to set him up with a much more manageable third down. Partner was a definite passing down, but he was able to leak out and pick up some good yardage, even though the coverage was excellent. Maybe it's not exactly how they drew it up, but he still got a big chunk of yardage on second down. Now on third down, that pass knocked down in the backfield and incomplete. Well, partner, so much for the mismatch. How about the guy at the second level, that big linebacker, able to run with the receiver and make a play on the football? All right, here we go. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And it is incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And as a result, possession switches hands. Well, that's another mistake there on the drop pass on fourth. And we've seen him do things like this all game. It's not hard to figure out why they're down by that deficit. They haven't made plays that are going to keep them in the game or win the game all game long. That's another example right there. It all boils down at the end of it to execution. Either you make the play or you don't. Well, Brandon Pace comes into play now because they've got the advantage. They've got the football, but they've got to be very careful about what speed they're going to play. You know, my, my music teacher back in New Paltz, this is by Fima Bagley, used to say, don't go prestissimo when you really want to go largo. And what she meant by that is don't go too when you really want to go at a nice, slow, deliberate pace. I am speechless. I am without speech. From midfield now, here's Taylor. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. It'll be a gain of nine, and it'll be second and about a yard to go for the first. And there they went crossing route against the zone defense. What do you think of that? Takes real coordination between the passer and the receiver because you've got to read those zones and where the open spots are and be on the same page with the guy throwing the football. Because sometimes you're throwing it in front of the zone. Sometimes you're throwing it between the zone. Sometimes the receiver is going to just kind of find a spot and what we call sit down and present himself to the quarterback and throw it there. It's a tough read, but when they're in sync, it's really effective. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. Call it a loss of two on the play. And that'll make it second and 12. 
They go play action now, Taylor. And his throw is incomplete. Brandon, it looked like he had his hands on it for a moment, but let, let's face it, that was going to be a tough catch all the way because of the presence hey, hey, of the hey, defense hey. right there as he was trying to haul it in. Yeah, nice job to force the incompletion. Play action, now Taylor. And incomplete on the deep ball. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here, but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open, and this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points, but this widens it out, as you said, and now it's all about ball control, isn't it? The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Now out comes their leader and the captain of this offense back onto the field. And the stats on the screen tell the story. A great start. This defense, they've made some good adjustments, so he's fallen off since. You have to like what they did at the half, but you also have to like the fact that they hung in there. Despite the fact they had a tough first half, he was locked in, right? Rocking and rolling. They came out, made their adjustments, got their confidence back. And now they're causing him all sorts of trouble. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained. So they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Got a man over the middle, and it's complete. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. First target, first catch, and a first down. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. They'll look to throw now on first down. Looking left side, and it's complete. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he will take it on in. For a giant touchdown. A bit. season with his second touchdown of the game. And the Giants are able to cut into this lead. Here we go now. Blue lining. Blue lining. Back to throw again. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. Well, they tried to get two and ended up getting none because the quarterback had nowhere to go with the ball and ends up getting sacked. Nowhere to go at all. Great job, though, defensively. They were ready. So still lots of work left to do, but here comes the onside kick. And it looks like this one won't work out. Hands team able to secure the football. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% <laughs> of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Ready. They go play action with Taylor. And he's going to be hit and taken down. Back right around the 48-yard line. Third and long, Taylor and company hoping to regroup after the sack. Now it's Taylor. Throwing left side, it's complete. And they'll 
end up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Give him 35 yards there on the third down conversion. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Give him three on the keeper there, and it is second down. Now Taylor to throw on second down. And he'll go down. Brought down at the 20-yard line. Boy, he came in off the edge so quickly there. Look out, because that's exactly what it was being shouted by the offensive lineman to his quarterback because he had no chance to block him. Third and long, Taylor and company hoping to regroup after the sack. Taylor. And that is incomplete. By the second... struggled today, but that's a little bit of a measure of revenge, isn't it? And they just followed the basic rules. See ball, knock ball away, turns into a nice play. And his kick is good. And that will stretch the lead up to three touchdowns now. It's a 21-point game. So this time, the protection holds up for him just fine, and he's able to bang it through. I think their special teams coach got the point across. He gave him a pretty good earful after the block earlier, and this time, there's no penetration. So they're able to pick up three. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The New York set to take the field. Second down. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really right, well. Go. Great working three, relationship three, with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Finding his safety valve here. That's complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. And this is why trying to cover the angle route is so difficult. Anyone playing the linebacker position, when they see a running back out of the backfield widen because he heads towards the flat first, oftentimes you widen too much and overcommit. He cuts up inside, and that's what we saw there. A nice pickup for a first down. Set! Blue 90! Blue 90! They'll look to throw here on first down. Connects it to Roberts, right side. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. That throw good for four. It's second down. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. All right, here we go. He'll look to throw. Time for a break. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. So it's Giants football here as we welcome you back. They face a third down now as they try to find a late score. Right, Three, 19. Looking to throw. He's going to let it fly. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 23. And the return this time will go out to the 42-yard line. 
Well, this defensive pressure has been constant all game long. The pass rush, the coverage, they've all been excellent. And now they'll tack on an interception here as this one continues to slip just further and further out of hand. Out comes this offensive unit as they get set to take over here. They have the big cushion here in the final stages of this one. I don't know if there's any better feeling than being up big on the road. There really can't be because for a team to go on the road and win in the NFL, that's huge to begin with. But just think about all the preparation that went into it. When they first started talking about this game, leading up to it during the week, going on the road, unfamiliar city, obviously, unfamiliar hotel, no one's going to be with you once you get to the stadium. They're all going to be against you. You name it, all those things they had to deal with, they're able to conquer them and do it convincingly. Yeah, they did it very convincingly. And now the final moments of this one. Third and long, it's Taylor. Fighting to stay upright. Forced out to his left. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Under the category of obvious, you hate giving up a first down on third and long. And somehow, he finds his way downfield and picks it up. Yeah, if you look at the coverage defensively, oh, this is great, but no one accounted for him at the quarterback spot. At some point, you actually have to tackle him and get him on the ground short of the first down marker. Line of scrimmage, again, the 37 as they line up second and 10. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's going to get this inside the 30. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. Well, I'd say that runs pretty emblematic of what we've seen all day long. No matter what they've done on offense, this offensive line has controlled the line of scrimmage, giving them time to throw it, run it, do whatever they wanted. That's why there are points up on the board. And right now, the psyche of the offense, we're in control, and we can do whatever we feel like doing out here on the field. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. That was a dangerous throw towards the end zone. Boy, did it hang up there forever. Wanted to run up there and pull it down out of the sky. Yeah, it felt like it really should have been intercepted. Lucky to have that one back. You've got to be more careful when you're that close to the goal line. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. And down inside the 15 he goes. 13 yards down to the 13. Oh, Taylor going to throw. Dancing to his left. And that is incomplete, seven seconds remaining. I hope I don't sound too rah-rah on that one, but that's the exact right throw. Either your receiver gets it or no one gets it. Give him a lot of credit for being really precise with it. Got rid of it, no one got it. Taylor incomplete on first down, here's second and 10. Now Taylor throwing again. And he's gonna go down, sacked right around the 17. 